Not allowed to get on the road before 9 a.m. Yeah, because of school buses through a city. Yeah. And have to be off the road by 3 p.m. Yeah, but we can take that hour break. We can come back on the road at 5. Wow. And, okay. and run 30 minutes before dark. Mobile home mommy. Block on top of black pad. <laughs> it's so, just a lot of so little many, bitty stuff. How many blocks is it that you move? <sighs> Let's see. I'd say probably total of right around 100 or so. Huh? Yeah. Well, for these uh, the big deer valleys, yeah. the 32 by 90 foot wider, those require 250 blocks. 250? Yeah. So he was just telling me how long this is and then how long it is with the truck. How long did you say it is? 76 foot with a home. And you add the truck in, it's 93 foot long. We do 90 footers, it puts us 107 foot long coming down the road. And we That's, sell quite a few of them. Yeah. And you guys are going to see how he was able to maneuver this over at the place coming out and making the U-turn and all that. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. But the guys before me drove that truck. Dick Moore bought them both. We get our own truck tomorrow. Tomorrow. We're picking, Tony we're just told it, me that. We're picking it up out of Jonesboro. Cost us sixty-five thousand dollars. Got yeah. a six-way tower hitch on it. Yeah. We have a six-way hitch up and down, side to side, in and out. And then you got all this trans lift right here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And well, that's forty-seven thousand dollars before COVID hit. Yeah. Well, now it's sixty-seven thousand. What does this do? That, I'm finna run that under. I'll lift that home up there, and we'll take that water level right there. And we'll set all our piers, pads and piers. Pull the axles out, we set the house down on it perfectly low. Ah, so this is gonna hold yeah. the house up. Yeah, that. This is like truck. a jack, just like a jack for the car. Yeah, that's a, that's a jack with a dozer track. That's what, I can pick that house up. I could have put that home in here with that. Without the truck. Without yeah. the truck? Without the truck. I could unhook the truck, hook that to the front of that house and put it in here. That's, right how you would, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's how you would set them up before and would that's have a roller system. Yeah. Uh, a roller system about as long as this toolbox. You set that up under the frame, jack it up, that's right. and you roll it on them rollers. Uh, so we retired them oh, yeah. and went to this. Yeah. Yeah. We got one guys, we ordered this out of Nashville, mobile home supplier. Okay. We ordered, this is your anchor system. This is the Oliver system. We don't put all the straps in the ground. We put these under and smash them in the ground, build a pier on top of it. That bar hooks to that oh, yeah, attachment, yeah, yeah. goes yeah. over and hooks to the front. Mm -hmm. And then we put four corner anchors in. That's the new modern day technology right there is what yeah. that is. Yeah. Then you order these, one buys, two buys, dip wedges, that's you go to. We don't carry a generator with it. We plug it straight inside that truck, charge our batteries, run our anchors in the ground. <laughs> right there is our power. That's what you see semi truck the over the road guys. Yeah. That's what they mount in our truck for our refrigerators, microwaves, uh, video games, everything. Yeah, we will. Our anchor machine to put some anchors in the ground. We run it in all five. Hammer drill when we're working on concrete to anchor. We run the hammer drill. We go down the road charging our batteries for our cordless impact to take off the wheels and pumps. We charge them on the way with a house. So when we get there, we're ready. All right, y'all, we're here with the main mover, Mr. Bobby himself of what company? Dickmore Housing. Bitmore Housing, did I say it right? Dickmore Housing, yeah. Dickmore Housing. 
and we wanted to ask him a couple questions. So we started asking him rapid fire questions and he started <laughs> answering them, but we're gonna give y'all the information. So the first thing we asked him, everybody wants to know, how do we find movers? What's the secret? Call the state fire marshal. Because call they're the, the ones okay. that license us, they know every mover in that state. So call the state fire uh, marshal. Right now you'd call Tennessee State Fire Marshal in Nashville. And they we can, can get a you, list of all the movers. They'll tell you every mover in the state of Tennessee. Whether they're active or... No, oh, they don't they give it to you unless they're active. Gotcha, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. you had a question. Uh, that was my question. <laughs> so, what's the starting price of just even a single wide and then a double wide? And how do y'all really determine got, the price? You have to go evaluate. You have to ride through, see what you got to do. If you're staying in state, or if you're going through multiple states, that's multiple permits, multiple escorts. Mm -hmm. so that's where it raises the price of you do something like that. But if you're local, I mean, if you can come in and do it in a day, you're at about, what you're saying, it's about four grand around here is what we are. It's single wide, come out, grab it, go move it mm -hmm. on a simple move. But if we, it takes us longer than that, we have to factor all that in. Yeah. That's what drives the price up to. And then as fuel keeps going up, we yeah. have to keep going up. Parts keep going up, we have to keep going up. So and we have to pass it on to the summer. Yeah. So, but y'all. So yeah. how often do you change the price? Just when they change it on us. Gotcha. So, yeah. Everything they're doing is based upon what the park yeah. is doing. And it's based up on our supply. Good inflation. Good supply up. Up. Yeah, it, it, our price is based on what we can get it for. Okay. How long does it take you to set up a mobile home? This like one this. right here? Yeah. We'll have this done in three or four hours. Three or four hours. Yeah, but that's not plumbing hooked up, that's not plumbing, that's right. not water. Right. We can block it, drop that, so it's an anchor about four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So on average, are you moving two mobile homes a day? Can if they want to. But not, not many folks you can't hardly do that because <laughs> when school's in session, mm -hmm. we run off that permit. We're not allowed to get on the road before nine o'clock. And we have to be off the road by three. School buses. Oh. Yeah. Not allowed to get on the road before 9 a.m. Yeah, through Because a city. of school buses through a city. Yeah. And have to be off the road by 3 p.m. Yeah. But we can take that hour break. We can come back on the road at 5. Wow. Oh, and, okay. and run 30 minutes before dark. But then, okay. okay. Yeah. That's how we're able to go with it. We have a lot of regulations. Yeah. yeah. They watch us like a hawk. A lot of regulations. Every mile we do, I have to jot down. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to run the log book. I have to, it's a whole something else. How long but, you been doing this? Well, 24 years. Do you stay busy? Years. Pretty busy. Wow. Yeah. So what would you say to somebody who's probably interested in getting started and doing it? Go for it. Go for it? Yeah. You can do it! Do you feel like it's a shortage in the industry? I know industry? they are. Yeah. Go to school. You're sitting on the couch, you're watching TV, and your life is passing you by. You keep procrastinating over and over. Well, maybe I'll go to school next year, maybe next semester. No, do it right now. Maybe. I don't know. Go to one of our schools and they'll tell you we're dying great. Wow. My class gets smaller and smaller. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that's what it is. Now, I mean, to be honest, $150,000 you can be in the mobile home set up for. That's your truck, trans lift, escort. You just gotta go make money then. Yeah. So, so $150,000 to get started? Yeah, I'd buy, I'd buy all your equipment. Oh, your wow. Your truck, trans lift, your escort. Gotcha. Yeah. $150,000 to get started. Yeah, that's all. That'll buy my truck. That'd my escort trip. and that trans lift and a trans lift yeah but how many men do i need and what's what's the what's a fair rate do i just pay them per day pay them per hour that's yeah, between you and them whatever they're asking for when you hire a man but when i start just like I pay, my, I pay mine by the day by the day 125 a day 125 a day yeah okay that's how they, plus they get a, a kit bonus every home we pull if you run an escort, you get $25 each home we look at. If they run an escort? Yeah, that's my escort. Okay. And, and every home we take, they get a $25 hitch bonus. $25 hitch, $125 per day. Yeah. That's what And Tennessee. we do a double. Okay. We do a double. We're just taking it out there dropping it. They make it more 75 a day. Oh, okay. And two hitch bonus. It's double, two hitches. So that yeah. the insurance, though, I was told I need like a couple million dollar policy? Yeah, at least a million. At least a million. Yeah, yeah. Put you an eight on that. Which the truck, and you start factoring in all that. There's general liability, you have to have cargo insurance. You have, that's a lot to it, but mm -hmm. do your homework, you do it. Now, my mover back home in North Carolina, I love him because mover home, mo well, mobile home movers, y'all are the plug. Yeah. That means y'all got all the information. Yeah. So he'll call me and be like, hey, Nicole, I got this house. It's pretty beat up. You want to come look at it? And he'll get it for free and sell it to me for at least a thousand or so yeah. and move it for me. Yeah. So do you do that as well? 
Tommy's the one that goes and looks at a lot of them before I ever hit it. Okay. They, they just give me addresses. Tell me to go get them. I asked you asked Tony that too? Okay. Yeah. It wasn't on camera. Me and Tony had this yeah. conversation. Her bagel. Okay. Yeah. They give me that address. They say either take one there or bring one from there. Do you That's like, that. are you okay with buying mobile homes with no titles? Bill of sale? Yeah. I do I, in North Carolina. Yeah, as long as it don't hurt you, as long as the state ain't after you over. You know? Yep, yep. As long as it ain't tied up financially. Yeah. You don't want to buy something, go set it up, pay all that to invest, have it set up, and then you got a finance company or a bank knocking on your door saying that's my home. Yep. And they, they can send a mover out there and snatch that home of their own yep, if they yep. have that title. So, in here, do you all <laughs> also have to pay the taxes on the home before you get the permits? I don't know if they do that in the office or not. I okay. know you have to uh, say if you, uh, if you're, you own your house, you own your house, and you're renting a lot from somebody, you have to pay taxes on that home every year. Yep. So, that's, that's the, where the state gets you. So, if I need to get permits, what specific office am I calling? Planning Commission. Planning Commission. Yep. They'll Planning let you know commission. everything. All right. Yeah. Tell you, local code enforcement. Local that's, code enforcement, yep. You got to have them on your side. That's you can't right. Do that's the right. Y'all, we're going to ask Bobby a whole bunch of questions. Yeah, I done. Throw me through the ringer. And then we're gonna ask them a whole bunch of questions. Yeah. So Bobby, what would you say? This is gonna be our last question. If somebody said, I'm nervous, I'm calling the mover, I just wanna build a relationship. What's the best way for investors to build a relationship with you? Get one mover and stick with them. Yeah. Don't don't jump from mover to mover. Get one you like and lock into them. You like kinda like disrespectful or just like I know, I mean they, they dealt with you before. Yeah. We deal with all kind of folks. You know what I mean? We deal with irate folks, we deal with crying folks, we you know, we deal with folks that think they're way smarter than us. Yeah. I'm like, why'd you call me then? You exactly. know, right. you see that smart. Sound like sound like coach. Yeah. <laughs> My videographer was like, Oh, I could move a mobile home and he saw what y'all was doing, he was like, Wait, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Well, everybody think they can do your job until they actually see you do your job. Yeah. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. All right, y'all. We didn't use enough of this man's time. He got to go make some more money because he got to be off the streets by three. That's it. It's a wrap. Peace. <laughs>